Using League to get League rewards. Using League to try new content. Using League to create up build. Using League to have fun with up build. Using League to destroy hard content with up build. Using League to get best in slot with up build. Using League to practice hard content with best in Hey fam welcome back to my final part for of my old school runescape league for guide. Today we will analyze the combat relics to theory craft regions, I will provide info and help you pick the right regions and then I will show you my new chosen regions, how I will go about making fast progress with gear and weapons from step 1 to step 28 to reach the end game as fast as possible. Here's the content page. 1. Archers Embrace. 2. Brawlers Resolve. 3. Superior Sorcerer. 4. Top 3 Money Makers for all 3 combat styles without including raids. 5. Excel Time. Regions bosses and their weaknesses. 6. Regions gears and weapons available for all combat styles. 7. Tips and my early game strategy for League. 8. My three chosen regions, previous choices and why I pick those three regions and sacrifice the others. 9. All regions gears and weapons map. 10. My 28 steps guide to how I will approach the League and make faster progress. Starting from Rune. Crossbow to expert tombs of a mascot. Archer's Embrace. First let's look at ranged relic, Archer's Embrace. With a slight buff to crossbows with 10% chance to proc enchanted bolts and better attack speed buff to slower weapons than faster weapons it makes sense to pick either Turan 1, Condorin, Ascarnia or Z to get Darkbow, Heavy Ballister, Zatai Crossbow or Tbo as endgame range weapon to maximize your range DPS potential. If we look at the tables, you can compare the weapons and its old and new takes and intervals and their differences in intervals. Darkbow gotten faster by 3 seconds and fire as fast as the old MSB and the buff difference is 5 times more than Toxic Blow Pipe. The second table shows the new accuracy, accuracy difference, the new range strength, range strength difference and the multiplication of new accuracy and range strength in 10 seconds interval. It shows that Heavy Ballister, Tbo and Bofer gotten huge 230k plus increases in their accuracy and range strength. Darkbow, Black Chin and TBP gotten the low end of the buff with minor increases below 100k. Below, it shows the calculations for the old and new range strength aka RS. Darkbow, using Dragon Javelin, old RS equals range strength which is 60 times the total intervals used which is 10.8 seconds divide by 5.4 seconds equals to 2 attacks, which means 60 times 2 attacks equals 120 old range strength in 10.8 seconds. Brawlers Resolve now let's unails the melee relic, Brawler's Resolve. Same attack speed buff equations for melee weapons. Player is now immune to all status effects except stuns and roots. 10% chance to deal a critical strike on successful melee hit, which is really going to increase DPS for faster weapons like Osmutan Fang, Abyssal Tentacle, ETC as more attacks in a short time increases the chance to deal critical strikes. Slower but more accurate weapons like Elder Maul, God's Words are getting more accuracy than faster, less accurate weapons. Formerly enjoyers, you might want to avoid mobs that require range and or mage to kill to avoid having a tough time in the league such as Zolrear from Turan 1, Corlisto, Ashio, Larva Dragon from Wilderness, Next, Kree, Whisperer, Commander Zillioner from Ascarnia, Thermonuclear Smoke Devil from Kandarin, and Leviathan from Mistaline. For this league, you want to pick either Maritania for Duroc Great Axe, Ascarnia for God's Word or Desert for Osmute and Fang to get the best bang for your buck with over 1.8 seconds attack speed improvement. Superior Sorcerer. Now here is the Mage Relic, Superior Sorcerer. I know some of you are going all in on Mage which I was in the beginning but after much consideration and new information I have changed my mind. Pause the video to read the details because I'm not going to pick this relic and I will move on to talk about how to pick your three regions if you are stuck with choice paralysis. Top 3 Money Makers. So if we look at the money makings for OSRS, without the three raids, we can see that the top three ways for melee are Venonatus, Bardovis and Spindle, two of which are from Wilderness, one from ZAKA Current. For range, it's Leviathan, Creerer and Corlisto, one is Garnier and one Wilderness. For Mage, it's Whisperer, Ashio, Corlisto, Muspar and Rex, one is Garnier, two Wilderness and two Fermenic. For me, I'm going range Relic and picking Z to get max gear so I can practice Vardovis with melee gear. Let's say you want to practice bosses with ranged, you could go melee or mage relic and pick Asgarnier or Wilderness to try Leviathan, Kree or Corlisto. Regions bosses and their weaknesses. Now let's move on to my Excel sheet to look at mobs weaknesses and their regions. 
This table is very useful for league and main game as you can find out which bosses you can fight depending on the combat style of your best gears. Next the second table shows what gears and weapons you are able to obtain from each regions. Feel free to pause the video and theorize craft your ideal gear and weapons. Now here are some tips for the league. Secrets of the North will be auto-completed with a Furmanic region unlock. Desert Treasure 2 will be auto-completed with a Desert region unlock. Accessing various Runecraft altars via Guardians of the Rift will ignore area restrictions. Yes, minigame points will be boosted by modifiers that increase at various relic tiers. Mitch training arena might just be bearable. Early game, mining gems, WC logs, fletching ammo forward slash weapons, smithing steel bars and cannonballs for Asgarnia, Multicanon. Now for picking regions. I used to do Maritania, Condorin then Asgarnia for second league aka easy mode. But I regret picking Maritania because Theater of Blood is very difficult, but I enjoy Nightmare. Then I changed my mind into Treyhard mode which is Condorin, Asgarnia, Z. This way I can get the best gear and weapons and finish at Chambers of Zarek Easy Cake. But then I changed my mind again because I want to practice on the new bosses from Desert Treasure 2 and Secret of the North, so now it's Z, Desert, Asgarnia because I want to auto-complete Desert Treasure 2 and not spend 3 hours doing this quest. Trust me you don't want to waste time doing quests in League and not having fun and making faster progress. So I had to sacrifice Kondorin for Z and Desert. With this setup I get to practice Vardovis, Whisperer with normal melee and Midge, practice Leviathan with uprange build. The League relics are always great for raids like Cox and Toso it's very synergistic to pick Z and Desert while picking range relic. All regions gears and weapons map. Now let me show you my step-by-step -step priority guide for League 4. With this map, you can see I unlock Z, Desert and Asgarnia from 1st to 3rd order. From step 1 to step 28, first I get Rune Crossbow, second, Obsidian Weapons from the Free Regions. Third, Dragon Axe from Z Region to Woodcut Logs and Fletch them into Ammo and Weapons. Fourth Arc Light once I unlock Desert Region. Fifth Abyssal Whip, six Dragon Defender and Boots from Asgarnia unlock. Seven Full Void Armor. Eight Fire Cape. Nine Obsidian Armor. 10 Saragnus Cudgel. 11 Dragon Warhammer. 12 Ancient Staff. 13 Tome of Water or Mage Training Arena Equipment. 14 Onyx for Jewelries. 15 Granite Boots. 16 Bundos and Armadil Armor. 17 Armadil Crossbow. 18 A God's Words, Saradom and Blessed Sword. Zamarak Spear, Staff of Dead. 18 B Dragon Hunter Lance. 19 Entry Tombs of a Masked Masary, Osmutan Fang. 20 Ancestrals, Rigor, Orgury. 21 Tbo. 22 Zed Crossbow and Vambraces. 23 Torfer. 24 Abyssal Dagger and Bludgeon. 25 Primodial, Pegasian and Eternal Boots. 26 Inferno Cape. 27 Max Cape. 28 Expert Toe. End screen. Alright, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I will show the info in slow mo at the end so you can theory craft your league strategy. What other league related videos should I do next? Comment below and tell me your league strategy so I can critique and give advice. Please like and subscribe for more old school RuneScape videos.